I got was the Yucca Thickening Growth Milk for Thin Fine Hair. I tried the Curl, Curl Coconut Hibiscus line, their milk. I, you know, I liked it. It was good. I like that it's very, very light. So I use that to moisturize and seal my relaxed ends for a really long time. Um, I just want to try the Yucca, you know, thickening milk because I have very fine hair. I want to see if it actually really does thicken up. I was looking for actually the thickening spray mist, but they didn't have it at my Walgreens. So I was like, let me just try the milk. It smells just like the, the deep conditioner of it. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. Stay tuned for an update review on this. Um... Another thing from Shea Moisture that I got was the Curling Souffle. And I will hopefully be able one day to do a review or a video tutorial on how I use this product. For the life of me, I could not figure out how to use this product because um, it's weird. It's like an oily gel for those of you who have ever tried it. It feels like jello. It's really weird. And um, so what I did after I had washed my hair before I braided my hair up, I added the lotion and then I took this to seal it and first applying on it I do not like the way it feels it makes my hair feel like I don't know strawy weird or whatever but I will say that once like you know your hair dries it's very shiny and it actually feels soft so it's the same thing with like the curling handsy smoothies like you know first when you try you don't really know how to make it work especially if you are you know protein sensitive like me but after a while you know you get the hang of this um am i gonna buy this again probably not but i'm definitely gonna use it up i used it just to you know seal my hair and it's supposed to put moisture body and shine back into your hair but i'm gonna keep playing around with it because i saw naturals using it and they're starting to get the hang of it so i'm gonna keep playing around to figure out if my hair likes it or not what I got was the Elastic QP Olive and Mango Butter Moisturizer. This is the original formula. I just noticed that it said that, but it's a different wrapping now. Before, it used to just be a nice white jar. I absolutely, absolutely love this product. Um, if you were watching my, not my Elastic QP, my, um, dang, Beautiful Textures Hair Butter that I do not care for. So I had to run out since I'm home to buy my Elastic QP Butter. This is what it looks like. You already could tell I've been using it. I use it for when I rebraided my hair underneath to make it smaller. I actually love the way it smells. This is a perfect, perfect butter for a winter hair regimen, which I will be doing a video on to tell you the difference between summertime and wintertime and why you need to just make a few tweaks in your winter regimen, whether you're natural, relaxed, text lax, whatever your texture is, you still need to tweak it. Um, it's very, very, very thick but very, very moisturizing. I absolutely, absolutely love it. I only bought this because of Tracy from Kiss. I've been using this for like a while now on my hair journey, and this is definitely, definitely a staple, staple product. So that's just a shot of it right there. This is my Herbal Essence Honey I'm Strong Conditioner. I, um... Haven't tried it. I know this is the newest conditioner that came out with for them. So I just bought it. I'm going to give it a try. And we'll see if I like it or not. So stay tuned for a review of this. This is my Moroccan Argan Oil from um, the Organics line. I'm just trying out different Argan Oils to see the difference. I actually prefer the way, I think I prefer the way this goes on than this one goes on. But, you know... They say they're both for fine, brittle hair to make your hair silky, soft, blah, 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 blah. They're not 100% pure argan oil, but I think I prefer the way this one is and this one, but I prefer the way the Cream of Nature one smells than the organic one. But I'm going to keep playing around with them and see what works for my hair and what does it. But I do not, there's a polish spray, sheen spray that they have of this. I don't like that at all. It makes my hair go greasy and I, I hate it. So I'm surprised I actually like this. And last but not least, these are not hair products, but I absolutely love them. My mother got me hooked on them, and that is black soap. I went to um, Vitamin Shop. I picked this up. I think it was like $2.99. Um, it's supposed to help with, you know, 
hydrating the skin and help balancing and revolving problem skin, exfoliate the skin, healthy looking, radiant um, skin. This is what it looks like. And it's just supposed to help with, um, you know, blemishes on your face, things like that. I really, really love the way it smells. For those of you who aren't near a vitamin shop, I also went to Walgreens and picked up their black soap. This is the Shea Moisture one. They had three for ten, which isn't that bad. So I got two black soaps, and then I got a Lavender Wild Orchard Shea Butter for healing, hydrating, and calming. And this one is for acne-prone and troubled skin. So I love it. It's organic. That's the reason why I'm showing you guys this is an organic product. Of course, I got makeup and other things like that, but... They just smell very, very good. So, you know, go check these out if you want to. I don't know if the sale's still going. So, thanks for watching. And, you know, I if there's anything that you really saw that you really want me to review or you want me to, um, you know, go out by that you want to send to me to review, let me know because... I'm always interested in what's working for other people. If you have tried any of these products and you know how to make it work for your hair, leave a comment below. Just, you know, I love communication. It's 2013, guys. Let's start off with on the right foot. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.